Welcome everybody and welcome to National Scrapbooking Day. I'm so excited. I'd be even more excited if I was done with school, but I'm not. Monday is my final, but that's beside the point. So um, anyway, I am joining like 10 of my friends here on YouTube, phenomenal scrapbooking people that are amazing and all of their links will be down below and we are doing a scrapbooking hop with each other and we decided to um you know like do something we haven't normally done before you know do the voiceover and all of that and so uh you know we we could use kits or not and i decided to use my april uh scraptastic kit I have an overabundance of those photo overlays, so I wanted to put them to good use. So I had picked like a vanilla background, that newspaper background, and a hunter green background to go with a picture of my husband and our then like five, six month old puppy Daytona, who is now almost 12. Oh, he's my baby. Anyway, um, so as you all know, my husband, um, well, now he's retired, but he was Air Force at the time. And we were stationed at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia. And Hurricane Isabel hit on September 6, 2003. Well, we were told to evacuate. Uh, military police were going around base housing on their, um, what were they, Eric? I'm sorry. Yeah, the PA, I want to say megaphones, but like the PA system saying, we need to evacuate, you need to evacuate base housing, you know, all this other stuff. Well, we couldn't go north because that's where the storm was headed. We wanted to because my in-laws are in New York and we were in Virginia. We had to go west. So we decided to go to Tennessee. Tennessee was one of the states that we were allowed to go to. And so we went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And we were without power for like two weeks. I kid you not. Uh, Hurricane Isabel was a hot mess. And um, we called this actually our evacuation vacation. <laughs> um, usually at this, you know, in our lives, when we went on leave of any kind, we were at my parents' or his parents' house. Very rarely. I, I Actually, I think this was first time ever we went somewhere other than one of our parents' homes for, you know, family time. Um, it wasn't planned family time, but it ended up being a wonderful trip. So this is a picture of Eric and Daytona that I took. Uh, we were in the mountains. We went on this hike, and we had such a great time. This, well, you're seeing me struggle with my uh, paper cutter here. This cardstock that comes in this kit is so nice and thick. It, like... My blade just wouldn't go through the whole thing. And so the ends were a little distressed, so I decided just to go with my distressing tool and finish all the edges like that. Um, it's a hunter green color. The background is a vanilla color, but it has specks of, like, brown and black in it, um, which I thought went really nice with the rest of the picture and everything. So here's Eric and Daytona, and I'm using one of the overlays. The um, oh goodness, I'm sorry guys, I can't think for anything. Acetate sheets. It says um, go on an adventure, and that is definitely what we were on. We were on an adventure that day, actually that week and a half, and uh, we had a fabulous time. I recently came across this picture um, in a drawer of mine, and. It looks better here on video than it does in person because when I printed this picture off, it was on one of my very first ever photo printers and it was on paper. It was photo paper, uh, you know, back in the day. And, um, but I love the size because it kind of went with what I was wanting and I couldn't find the original picture. So I just decided to utilize the picture. So here I'm taking a bunch of my overlays and I am just trying to utilize as many of them as I can and I'm alternating the dark with the gold with the yellow. Um, I threw in a little bit of pink here and there and blue. Um, but this was really, really a fun layout and I think this is one of the faster layouts I've done in a long time. And um, I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Um, yeah, so it, it went together very well. So let me tell, 
tell you a little bit of the story with uh, <laughs> our our puppy here. He is our most one of our most prized possessions. He's he has been the best dog ever. He's laying at my feet right now, and he's completely spoiled and loved. Um, but I kind of tricked my husband just a little bit. I'm going to tell on myself. So. When Eric was deployed in 2003 in Afghanistan, um, my uh, Saudi Arabia, I'm sorry, Saudi Arabia, um, my parents were there visiting, and one night my dad and I were up kind of late watching TV, and <clears throat> you could see through my living room, it kind of opened up into the kitchen, and we had this like screen on back porch, and I saw <laughs> body figures on my back porch, like shadows, and I'm like, dad there's someone on my back porch and he's like yeah I see them and my dad was getting ready well he's getting older I, I'm like you're not going out there right and he's this prior military Italian man he's like I'm going outside I'm like no you're not so anyway I'm like you know what <laughs> Eric, Eric just left he's going to be gone for a while I need a dog and, and my dad's like you don't need a dog I'm like I need a dog so I started looking um, at the different SPCAs and everything, and I knew I wanted a dog that would make an impression on someone if they were to try. What they were doing was building apartments back behind base housing, and it was just like a chain link fence. We never had a, had any problems with base housing until they started building these apartments. And um, so I'm like, you know, I want a dog that I can like train and make our own, but I want, I, you know, I don't want a tiny puppy because I kind of need something now for someone to like take me seriously or, you know, know that don't come in my house. So um, after a couple of weeks of looking, I drove up to Williamsburg, Virginia, which is like 20 to 30 minutes north. And um, Carlton was with me. Carlton at the time was four, not quite five. And we fell in love with this dog, and his name was Cody at the time, and he had a brother, and his brother, okay, so Daytona is a lab mix. It's a lab hound mix, but his brother was all black. He, his brother looked like a Rottweiler, the coloring of a Rottweiler, but the shape of a lab. It was really quite odd, and Daytona was more mellow, and he was kind of laid back. You could tell the brother was the alpha of the two. Um, but my son was really drawn to Daytona. I was drawn to Daytona, so we adopted him. Well, my husband didn't know at the time. So when my husband was able to call, because I only was able to talk to him every once, maybe if I was lucky once a week, it was usually every two to three weeks. Um, so when I did hear from him, I told him I was thinking of getting a dog, and I told him why. He's like, we don't need a dog. You're not getting a dog. I already have a dog. I already have a dog. So, <laughs> so I, I couldn't fess up on that on that conversation. I think I wrote him a letter, told him I already have the dog. He was not happy with me at all. He was not happy with me at all. Um, but during this trip, so we had to evacuate. So we had we took both of our cars. We filled them with our important papers, um, all of my photo albums and pictures, things that we had made the kids, you know, the important things, things you don't mind, water damage or or whatever with a hurricane. We had our animals, we had our children, we have we had our goods. So we trekked to Tennessee and we stayed at a, at a Holiday Inn. I called ahead of time and told him why we were coming. It was still, even though it was September, it was still kind of tour season there because the weather was nice. And um, she's like, she kept me on hold for like 10 minutes and came back and she was like, you know what? We'll have a room for you and we will give you the military rate, even though it's still, um, you know, tourist season. So it was like half off. <clears throat> so like how long did it take us to get there, Eric? 12, 13 hours? Yeah. 12, 13 hours. It was quite a long drive for both of us. It was at the it was in the evening when we were told we had to leave. So we were up all day and we were exhausted. So by the time we made it to the Holiday Inn, it was the main building. And then they kind of had a building off to the side and it was along a creek and they had a playground and everything. Well, that's where they put us because I said we had kids and everything. So we go into this room and there's this huge bag in the center of one of the beds and it was full of toiletry items. And then there was a note saying we didn't know if you had time to pack. Um, 
we wanted to make sure you had some essentials. Uh, there was even a, a couple tiny travel things of dog food. They knew we had pets. That might have been another reason why we're, we were in this um, off building. We had a dog and a cat at the time. And um, so, okay. So <laughs> first night there wasn't so bad. Second night there, Daytona would not stop barking in the middle of the night. He's barking, barking, barking. And Eric, of course, isn't happy that we have the dog. He's like, would you make that dog be quiet? I'm like, he's never done this. I don't know why he's barking. And so Eric finally got up and it was like 3.34 in the morning. And he opens, he opens up the door and he looks to the right of our building and um, kind of down the sidewalk just a bit were the big um, trash bins. There was a big old black bear in that trash bin. <laughs> we didn't hear anything. We heard nothing. But Daytona just would not stop. He would not stop barking. And my husband closes the door. He's like, oh, my God, there's a bear outside. I'm like, get out of town. <laughs> He's like, there's a big bear outside our door. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So ever since then, he and Daytona have been, like, just connected at the hip and he's been the best dog ever and I can honestly tell you any other time Eric has deployed both he both Eric and I have felt completely safe because of this animal he has just been a blessing to us completely so yeah that's my story of this photo so you can see my husband this was the day prior to the black bear incident so Eric's not completely in love with the dog yet but the dog of course loves Eric um but I just love the picture of both of them we were hiking in the in the uh in the mountains and it was a great time we had a great week it ended up very well we went back to Langley and the power was still out for like another week um it was a hot mess but anyway um Boy, I went way off track, like I normally do. <laughs> so I want you guys to look through your stuff. And I want you guys to find something you have a lot of that you just haven't utilized as much. And I want you to pull it into a page. And um, I didn't want to overwhelm my page here with a bunch of journaling. So I made this faux pocket. And what I'm doing now is I use the glue pen in two dots. This glue pen is a two-way glue pen. So when you first dab it on, it's blue. That means it's going to stick permanently. Well, if it dries, it turns clear. So what that means is you can use it like a sticky note. You can put something on it. It'll keep it stuck. But if you want to pull it off, you can. So that's what that was all about. So my journaling is on this travel tag back behind. I alternated these frames be uh, between like the black frames and the gold frames and some that had color inside them. I used a color or a striped sheet of the acetate that I got in the April Scraptastic kit. I put that in the top behind the top right hand photo frame. As you can see here, you can see some diagonal stripes. That was just a scrap piece I had. Um, the Go See Do die cut I put down below. You'll see here in just a moment. The Journey um, wood veneer was broken during shipment, but it went together beautifully. Um, it was very thin, so once I glued everything down, I just made sure it fit really tight. And um, the rest was from the kit. It was, I love this page so much, and it was something I've never done before. And I'm, I, I, I'm just wondering why I haven't done it sooner. So I hope you all have a wonderful day today looking at all of these wonderful videos please go check out all of my friends they're in the description bar below um and go scrap your little hearts out uh we need to celebrate a day like today this is this is pretty amazing a day for scrapbookers you can't ask for more talk to you later bye